we only have so much uh, fuel reserves. The fossil fuel uh, resource are inherently finite, and so we need to find some way to solve that problem, and sooner is better than later. The problem with batteries is they take up a lot of volume for the amount of energy that they store, as opposed to chemical energy. Hydrogen, uh, once you compress it, can store a lot more energy per unit volume than batteries can. What I'm doing is looking for new materials for solar water splitting. It's kind of like using a regular um, solar cell uh, photovoltaic device, except for um, you effectively take that, split it in half, and you use water as one of your electrodes. And instead of creating electricity, what you generate is hydrogen and oxygen. The goal is to get to the point where we can um, produce uh, hydrogen, uh, chemical energy, um, efficiently enough that you can use it as a uh, feasible storage method to sort of um, replace fossil fuels. It's very open, it's a very collaborative environment. You'll have the ability to interact with uh, some of the best researchers in the field and you'll get to live in Austin. And Austin is just a, a fantastic city. Um, there's something for everyone here. You know which lab you're gonna be working for before you come here. And that's a very large advantage because you can come in and you automatically have funding. You can jump right into the lab. You can start doing research immediately. UT has been uh, very valuable for, um, as a source of improving my research and doing good research.